Hello chemistry folks, we're back here with another lab in my kitchen. We are going to be doing the phase change lab where we will take water, H2O, from the solid phase, turn it into a liquid, and then turn it into a gas. I know, it sounds pretty amazing, doesn't it? We will first need to make a prediction. On your lab sheet, you can see the space provided for that. With your prediction, I just want you to make a graph. We have a y-axis here with temperature, with degrees Celsius. We have an x-axis over here with time in minutes. We'll be starting at zero time in minutes as we add heat to this frozen water. And we want to draw a line over here that shows what you think is going to happen to the temperature over the course of this lab. Now your line, it could be straight up, it could be down, it could be flat, it could be up and down, it could... What do you think? What's your prediction? Here I've got my stove, I've got a pot full of water, but this water is in the ice phase. Put it in the freezer, it's stuck in there. I also have my thermometer. Now the thermometer, I don't want to just sit it upon there, so I've actually bought a drill, and I'm going to go ahead and drill into there and get an accurate measurement of what the temperature of the H2O as it goes through and changes its phase. Whoa, 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 I forgot something. And now we'll go ahead and begin. I'll start at the time zero now. Okay, at this stage it's been 36 minutes. We've got enough data to go ahead and make a graph and see what this actually looks like compared to our prediction. Let's take a look. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is click on the box that says time in minutes, scroll over to temperature and degrees Celsius, and pull all the way down on the file. Oh, oop, I went past a little bit down to the 36th minute and 105 degrees. Then move over to the right where you'll see insert chart. Click that and boom! You've got your graph. So now let's zoom in on our graph a little bit. You can see how it looks here, and let's compare it to how it actually should have looked. Here on the right, this is what should have taken place if everything were perfect. And they're not exactly the same, but not too far off. We did pretty good. And now we need to go a little more in depth and figure out what is it we're supposed to learn from this graph in the first place. Here's what it should have looked like. So in our graph, we started with the solid that we then had melt, once it melted, it turned into a liquid. After turning into liquid, it boiled, and then it turned into a gas. Now you'll notice something different about this graph compared to the one that we made. We didn't actually collect the gas and continue to heat that up. Although had we collected the gas, you would have seen its temperature rise up just as this graph shows. One interesting thing you'll notice on this graph is that the hottest we can get liquid water to be is 100 degrees. Although at the gas phase, it can get hotter. You can see if we actually reverse courses, we could go ahead and condense and turn back into a liquid, and then freeze and turn back into a solid. This leaves us with one of the foundational graphs you'll find in chemistry, the phase change graph for water. But we want to focus specifically on these two areas. Why is it that when we add heat to this substance, the temperature doesn't rise? That doesn't seem to make sense. Let's go ahead and look at just the boiling phase change. At this spot, we know that the liquid is changing into a gas but the temperature is not increasing. We need to recall that water is a polar molecule, and because it's polar, those charges are going to attract one water molecule to another, leading to intermolecular forces. This makes water want to hang out with itself and stay in the liquid phase. It's going to take a lot of energy to overcome those intermolecular forces, pull them apart, and go into the gas phase. So at the flat part of the graph right here, you can see that all the energy is not being used to turn up the temperature, but to overcome the intermolecular forces, turning it from liquid into gas. 